Welcome in everyone, Cassie Soto here with you and here with news that Oakland Athletics officials will pay a visit to the city of Las Vegas in the coming days to explore ideas on relocating the Major League Baseball Club. The Review Journal's own Ron Kantowski broke the story, sports columnist for the Las Vegas Review Journal, and he joins us now. Ron, we have seen another team from Oakland over my shoulder here move to Las Vegas, and so far it has worked out pretty well for them. Are the Oakland A's next? Well, Cassie, I think that remains to be seen, but it is uh, unusual, let's say, that uh, we've, seen, we've seen this play before, haven't we? And, uh, and it turned out pretty well for all concerned. I think that would be uh, way premature to, uh, to guess what the, uh, what the meetings are all about, but that, that the A's have moved so quickly uh, after Major League Baseball gave them permission to seek uh, other opportunities in other cities, I think that speaks a lot for the city and, and the viability that the A's uh, think uh, that uh, relocating here could, could actually work. Uh, you know, sources both here and there in Oakland tell me that the enthusiasm kind of took them by surprise how much enthusiasm there was for just the potential, the possibility that the A's would even look into uh, uh, re relocating to Las Vegas. So I think they thought, well, you know, let's see if that translates to an actual opportunity. And that's what the visit is all about. And this isn't the first time that we've heard of an MLB club wanting to relocate to Las Vegas or Henderson in the Diamondbacks um, case. Myself and Ed Graney actually went to Arizona to see what the deal was there if they were coming, relocating to Henderson. We've also seen the city of Las Vegas be used sort of as a bargaining chip because when Las Vegas is involved, all of a sudden the story gets really sexy. There's some quarterback that's putting out Las Vegas right now. He wants to relocate here. That's an idea that he's throwing out there. Is that that sort of what we're seeing here or do we think that the A's are just set and saying we need out wherever it is that will take us we will go there well you know how it goes Cassie in Las Vegas you can't spell leverage without LV right I mean think about it <laughs> so so uh this is just another example of that but you know what uh, uh the people I talked with uh, both in Oakland and Las Vegas about uh, the A's coming on a visit that was one of the questions I asked and one of the, uh, the exact phrase that was used was, hold on right there, this is real. And not that the A's are, are set to, to, to pick up and just move here tomorrow or next week or even next year, but the opportunity, their, their interest in, in looking elsewhere and starting in Las Vegas is very real. And I think that's what brought about the, uh, the visit next week. What would it mean for the city of Las Vegas if another major league team were to move here? Boy, that's a tough one, you know, and I, you know, uh, being somewhat of a skeptic, you think, well, how can we support, you know, uh, another major league team? We've already got two here, the Raiders and the Golden Knights have both been successful. But, you know, the city continues to su surprise me as a long-term observer because if you had asked me five years ago, were we going to have an NHL team and then an NFL team, I would have said, I would just raise my eyebrow like John Belushi used to, you know, staring out live and said, you're crazy. You know, that's not going to happen. We're just not big enough to support it. So far, we've been more than big enough. I mean, the enthusiasm for the hockey team to me totally exceeded any expectations I might have had. And, you know, Maybe it's temporary, but there's nothing to suggest that it is right now. And, uh, you know, with the NFL, to me, is tailor-made for the city because you have eight games. It's like having eight big fights or eight golf tournaments, what have you. It's eight events and we're an event-type city. To me, that's the perfect model uh, that works here in Las Vegas. With baseball, it's just the opposite. You have 81 games. But then you talk about tourism and things like that. But with baseball, you'd have 81 home games. And so... Let's just say people in Cleveland, instead of just coming here for one night, they'd hear, be here for three or four nights. And, you know, after what we've been through with the pandemic, you would think that would appeal to local tourism types, you know. So so who knows what the thought process is right now? I think, uh, again, next next week, people shouldn't read too much into it. It's just a fact-finding mission. But that the A's are, have acted so quickly on this, you know, if you're a baseball fan, you've got to be encouraged. Oh, final ones for you here, Ron. It probably also doesn't hurt the A's case to move to Las Vegas, knowing that their triple A affiliate and the Las Vegas Aviators are here as well, right? Yeah, Cass, you know, there's existing relationships. There's a comfort level there. These are people, you know, 
uh, you know, the new ballpark uh, in, in Summerlin, I think, could be a big advantage. Let's say this moves past the introductory stage because, you know, at some point probably the A's will need a temporary home. And, you know, I was talking to some uh, some people here in town and they said, you know, the A's aren't, they, they're not drawing that well now. You know, they have the Yankees or the Red Sox on the weekend. They'll draw for that. But they had a game like last Tuesday that attracted 4,000 people. And now I know there's a COVID limit, but that's up around 9,000 for them. And they're not even fulfilling that uh, capability. And so, you know, the Aviators average of more than 9,000 people in their first year. People love to come to that ballpark. That's a triple A ballpark. You can imagine that if they were having to play here in a temporary situation, they would pack that place every night. You know? So I think that situation at someone, that ballpark, you know, at least short term could be a big advantage in uh, attracting uh, the A's if that's what it, uh, if there's there's an opportunity for them to explore this further. A lot of what ifs right now, Ron, but we do know that the Oakland athletic officials are in fact coming to town. So that is a huge step in the right direction for the city of Las Vegas. And you broke that story for us. So a round of applause for you. Thank you so much for working so hard for us and getting this story. Really appreciate you taking some time to talk with me today. Well, thanks, Cassie. And let's hope uh, that there'll be something more to report in the future. I mean, if you're a sports fan, you got to love all the interest in Las Vegas. I mean, that's the bottom line here, that people are taking us seriously. And that's great for anybody that follows sports here in the Valley. All right. For more on the Oakland A's possibly relocating to Las Vegas and more on their visit next week, head on over to ReviewJournal.com. For Ron Kantowski, I'm Cassie Soto. Thank you so much for watching.